hello so continuing on this weekly count b weekly contest 17 the first problem easy problem is problem 1313 decompress run length encoded list and so the problem says we are given a list of numbers um, representing a list of compressed with run length encoding um, and basically what run length encoding it's usually used for um, strings so it's something like this where you have let's say 3a 4b maybe 2c what this means is that you can take the first thing and then you repeat the character after it the number of times so 3a that means we repeat a three times 4b means we repeat b um, four times so b four times and then 2c means we repeat c two times right and so this is what online encoding means. And basically, if you this problem here just applies it to numbers. So that what this a little bit of com confusing line means. It means consider each adjacent pair of numbers in the in numbers here. So one and two. And essentially, um, for each such pair, there are a element with b with value b in the decompressed list. So what this means is that for these two there is one element of two. And for these two, there is three elements of four. So one element of two, three elements of four. So it's just taking the exact same thing with string that I showed here um, and just applying it to these numbers. So this means take the first one and do um, two one time and take the the other one, three, do, it f f f do the, in the character next to it, which is four, three times. So four, three times and put that in a list so it would be something like this <clears throat> so that's what this problem means and the ranges goes up to 100 and we are guaranteed that the length is even so this is very good because we don't have to deal with having an odd number and having a number that is not used right and so um, let's see how we can solve this problem so the first easy thing we can do is just um, let's just do the exact same thing the problem says right so what that means is, well, we need a, a list for our result, right? And then we need just an index here to go through the uh, list. So while we haven't reached the end, minus one. Why minus one? Because, well, when I'm here, I already know what to do. I know that I need to take the next to it nums of i plus one and repeat it three times. So basically, I'm going to be indexing by just going to one here first and then taking the two repeating in what repeating it once and then going to three so i will keep iterating by two so that means here we need plus two and here we want to take the element and nums i and repeat nums i plus one nums i times so what that means is that i'll just repeat by the number that is at position i which is three here for example in this case and I'll repeat for that number of times. And so that's what I'm doing this loop. And so I will just append to the list of results the number in position i plus 1, right? And that's pretty much all there is to it. And then I return the result. So if I run this, and submit. So that passes. Um, one thing we can do this with is, uh, so Python's uh, for loop here, if we look at it more in details. Um, so the way it works is that you could say for range, so sorry, not for loop, but range. So range, you could give it both a start, a stop, and a step. So for our case here, we want to start with zero. We want to end with length and nums minus one, right? actually minus one like this but since we know that the length is even it doesn't matter and the step which means we wanna the step is what we are doing adding i by here so it's two so we could just use this actually and that would be the equivalent to both initializing i by zero doing this while loop and doing this i plus two so we'll just do for loop here in the range of starting from zero we don't need this because we are guaranteed that the length is even and the step is two so we don't need to increment the range uh, loop will do that and we don't need to initialize i 
and this would give us the same thing. Okay, let's move this. Okay, so that passes. The other thing is just like, just as a way to get used to list comprehensions in Python is you could include this as a list comprehension instead of a, so that it's one line. Not that it's really better because this is more readable, but just to get used to it. There is this function in, a, in Python called extend. So if I, um, let's say I have this list res, right? That is empty. If I extend, call extend, it just extends the list by appending all the elements in, that are in the parameter. So let's say my parameter is two, three, so it will add all of them. So now res contains all of them. So that's what we want here. We want to take this for loop here and we want to repeat nums i plus one that number of times, right? And then instead of append, because it's no longer one element, it's a list, we are going to use extend. And now this is an iterator now. We don't need to do the list like this because this is now an iterator that can be added, right? So if we look at extend again, um, you can pass any iterable. And so this is an iterable, so that's enough. And that should work. Okay, so that passes. Um, the other thing that we can do is just uh, make the entire thing um, an iterable, right? Because whenever you have just this for loop and one operation, you usually just can do that. And so instead of doing this entire portion here, what we can do is just return. So what do we want? We want to go through, we want to do this loop, definitely. And for each of these i, we want to repeat we want to repeat it by num i, right? So we put that here. And then what do we want to repeat? Nums of i plus one, right? And so you notice that the, the loop that was the inner loop becomes the last one and the upper one becomes the first one. That's how this, um, how, that's how iterators work. And we can just return this here instead. And this should work. Okay, so that passes. Um, the other thing is that we c there is this thing in Python that is pretty useful, list slicing, right? So the way list slicing for something like, so let me just take numbers from one all the way to five, six, seven, just to illustrate this example here. Eight, nine, 10. Right, so with all of these numbers, so here with this, um, I can do this list. So this will say start from one. And if I do two columns like this and then put a number, that means that the steps would be two, right? So that essentially will be equivalent to starting from zero and doing step, stepping by two. So that would give me one and then step by two. So then three, step by two five, step by two, seven, step by two, nine. And then you can see we get that. And then I'll start from one. And then, so starting from one, step by two, get four, then get six, and then eight, and then 10. So you could see here, this is actually what we want uh, for our problem. We want to repeat one, two times, three, uh, four, three times, two, one time, um, six, five times, right? And so what this means is let's just pair these together. So we want to repeat two one time with, and repeat four three times, repeat, repeat six five times. So if we pair one with two, pair three with four, pair five with six, we can just iterate through these pairs, right? And so the in Python, the way to do pairing of two different lists, which these are, right? We need, we use zip. So I can just zip nums starting from zero two and zip nums starting from one and stepping by two each time. And so if I show you this using list, you could see it pairs one with two, three with four. And now all I need to do is just repeat the second element in the pair, number, um, the number of times um, of the first element. So repeat four three times, repeat six five times, 
and that's pretty much all that we need to do it so how do we do that so if I take this this zip here so this would mean I need to repeat B eight times right and so to do that well let's just say that we need so let's say we need X for and then X what is it X needs to be B repeated eight times uh, eight times right and so B repeated eight times is just saying B like this multiplied by A um, there is an extra parenthesis here yep so if you why is that because 2 multiplied by 4 that gives me 4 B four twos, right so this would give me B 8 times and that's what I want so I can just return this entire um, list comprehension and that will give me the exact same thing zip is very useful in python it's very good to know and slicing also to know how uh, and get used to how to uh, how to use them um okay so now let's submit this okay so that passes um yeah so that's it for this problem um if you like this if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe um yeah thanks for watching and see you next time bye